Hello everyone, uh, before we get this started, I just want to put a disclaimer and um, say that a few times during this video my face cam cuts out. It's not very often at all. It's like very like random parts, but it shouldn't make that much of a difference. It shouldn't be a big deal. I just wanted to clarify why it randomly doesn't show my face anymore for a few seconds and then it does. Like, yeah. But yeah, it doesn't happen a lot. It's just a couple of times. So yeah, we should be good. Thank you. All right. Hello, everyone. It's Robin. And I'm back again with another episode of Amori. Yes. Love Amori. So two things before we get started. Um, One, if you're new here and you are starting with this episode, you should probably go back and watch the last three episodes because... If you don't, this is probably not going to make a lot of sense, all right? It's right? It's got a storyline. I mean, you know, if you want to make sense of it, you might want to start from the beginning. Number two, while I was editing the last video, I noticed that I missed some places. I missed some spots and some things. There are some things I wanted to go back and do um, just in case because I think I completely missed the pinwheel forest and went straight to the train, the train station and stuff because there was a place I don't think I went. So that's what I'm going to explore. I'm going to try to go places and do things that I may have forgotten to do last episode and that I want to continue to do like the little side quests and stuff that you can do in the playground and like with other things. Like I just want to make sure I cover all of it. I don't want to miss anything, but yeah, we can go ahead and get started. Continue. It says we're still on the prologue, which is a little scary. I mean, I'm fine with that. It's just that's... Have I ever spent so much time on a prologue? And I did cut out a lot of the battles the last episode. A lot. With like, probably like half an hour worth or something. I still need to find a flower puzzle. I don't know if I'm able to do that yet or not. All right. I'm gonna go back down and explore the place that I happened to not explore last time. So I believe it was this way. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Can we check on the flowers just in case? Like, I don't know, like, how this, how the flowers work exactly. Okay, it looks like everything is fine. I, I'm assuming everything is fine. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I think it only does that when we progress the story, maybe? Honestly, last episode, we didn't get a lot done. We did meet some characters and stuff, but <laughs> it was very, very silly. But a lot of this game will probably be like that for in this world, you know? It's okay, though. I, I love, I enjoy every part of this, so. Oh, no, 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 I forgot. I forgot that there was, there's bunnies, enemies. All right, I believe the area that I did not explore is up here. No, I don't want to. Yeah, it's right there, right there. I did not go in here. It's not disappearing. The heck is this? Is that like a, a wing? A, just a tire swing, right? Why? I thought this was going to be like a whole area. Okay. I did miss something, but it was small, I think. An eyeball. I missed an eyeball. All right, got it. Is there anything else I missed? Mm -hmm. I don't want to fight you right now. I can't go up the ladder. I don't think. Wait, can I? Because at the end of the last episode, you remember, Mari was talking to us about being afraid of heights and stuff, right? So, I want to know if I can climb the ladder now. Alright, I wonder if I can go up this ladder. Is this even where the ladder was? Oops. It was? It was right here. Now will it let me go up there? This is the wrong ladder, Amori. I was talking about the ladder east of the stump. First you go up, I mean north from the playground until you see our stump, then you make a right from there and keep walking until you see it. I know where it is. At least I'm pretty sure that's how you get there. Sorry, it's just a pretty vast forest. I wanted to see if I could go up there. It won't let you. It won't let you. That's cute though, the way they tell you. I believe that's all I missed in this area. And then I wanted to do some stuff at the playground before I continued the story. All right, browse. <laughs> Still haven't found the flower puzzle. We do have a quest here though. 
so Burley's upset. Hey Van, is something wrong with Burley? She seems a little... Am I the only one who didn't think Burley was a girl? Upset. Oh, about that. Well, you see... Let me explain. Look at this pole! Can you believe it? What about it? The ball is gone? What are we looking at? Yeah, I don't see it. Exactly! The tether ball is missing. Ben here used his arms and swung too hard, and now the ball's gone far off somewhere. Never to be seen again. I told you not to use your arms, Van. You gotta use your head. Like this. Ding! Sorry, Burly. Using my head all the time gives me a headache. That's because you don't have a hard head like I do. Oh, something just hit me. I'm sure I saw the ball flying off somewhere in that direction. Oh, great. Into the vast forest. <laughs> we'll never find it now. It might as well be lost forever. Hey, don't sweat it, Burly. We'll look for the ball for you. Heh. <laughs> you sure you want to do that? Vast forest is a pretty dangerous place, you know. One time I even got into a super grizzly brawl with this ugly plant creature with dead, empty eyes and a gaping mouth. I outwitted it, of course, being cool and smart and all. There's no monster in all the universe that can outrun me. <laughs> I'm not putting that in. <laughs> Say, Amori, why don't you and your friends go with Burley and keep her out of trouble? I'd go myself, but... Van! Browse ran over to Bangs again! He ran over Bangs? Oh, jeez, there's my cue. I'm coming, Happy. Be safe out there, you guys. I'll see you when you get back. Browse ran over Bangs. Poor Bangs, but awesome Browse. Come on, Burley, let's go find your lost ball. We don't have anything to worry about as long as we're together. Heh, <laughs> sure. Just don't get in my way when I show off my totally amazing headbutt skills. Mm, let's just get this over with. Burley joined your party. He joined our party? Now I have to go back in the vast forest? Okay, that's okay. We're okay, we're gonna see if anything's different. We saw this weird poster over here don't know what it means. I know that they mentioned one of those ladders goes up to space. Hold on, Bangs. You're going to be A-OK. -okay. Oh my god. Browse ran me over and knocked me down, but I'm just lying here because it feels good. Okay. Okay, Burly. I'm not even sure if I'm saying her name right, but, you know... It's okay. It's okay. It's not that deep. It's not serious. Let's let's go left first. I bet I know where it is. Why do I feel like I know where it is? You remember that dog house that we found? It seems like it would be a dog toy. Okay, I'm gonna fight this because I need to kill more bunnies. <laughs> but you you guys remember that dog house, right? The um, the one that we couldn't really do much with. I wonder if we can do something with it now. I don't remember where it was at, though. Wait, it's there, isn't it? Was I even over here before? That's the ball! Sweet! There's my lost ball! Yoink! Finally! Let's take this bad boy to the playground. I'm itching to play some tetherball. Okay, what's in here? This is new. I missed this too. A hard bulb. You can hear something struggling inside. Guys, what if basil is in that flower thing? I don't think I can do anything with that right now unless I'm seriously missing something. I totally didn't see this before though. Seriously. Okay, well, I don't know. The doghouse theory was... It's... I, I don't know what I was thinking. Oh no. 
This should be out then, right? It is. Okay, we're back. We're back. Okay. Well, that was fun. Not. I'm gonna go play tetherball. See you later, alligators. I'm out of here. Not even grateful. Not even a thank you. But seriously, come see me before you go. I got something special for you. Okay, cool. What was that noise? Is it because I completed a quest officially? I'm eating the candy. Yes, I would love to eat some. That sound never, never ceases to make me just melt just because of the cuteness. Hey dudes, thanks for getting my lost ball back. As you can see, I'm putting it to good use. Yep, she sure is. I was thinking, since you were all so kind to help me out, I'm gonna be generous and teach you my special skill. But first, I got a question for y'all. Which one of you has the hardest head? Probably Kel. Well, duh, that'd, <laughs> that'd have to be Aubrey. What did you say? Whoa, chill out. No hard feelings. Get it? That sounds about right. All right, Aubrey, I'm going to teach you a skill just between hard-headed folk like us. It's my specialty, head and butt. It's simple, really. You just run up to someone and... <laughs> like Tondido? Wham! <laughs> now you try. Uh-oh. That looks like it would hurt. And it also messes up my hair. And it also ruins my bow. Oh, come on, Aubrey, live a little. Having messy hair never hurt anyone. Hero was living proof of that. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh, she's owning it. Okay, yeah, you bet. Fine. But if I'm doing this, I'm going to give it all I got. Ugh. I feel dizzy. Whoa, nice one, Aubrey. I knew I saw talent in you. Congratulations! You've passed the test with flying colors. Huh? What's happening? From this day forth, I hereby declare you a bona fide headbutter. <laughs> Aubrey learned headbutt. Um, she is spinning. And take this certificate. Show your friends. I'm sure they'll be proud. You got a he a butt certificate? A butt certificate? <laughs> okay. Uh, we're just gonna leave it. We're just gonna leave it. Alright, so... It's time to go. It's time to go where they want us to. I'm gonna see if anything's different with the lake up here. Okay. Anything different here? You're afraid of drowning. Just the weird tentacles, it looks like. It's very quiet when you come back here. I wonder why, like, what is the reason for for the tentacles? Like, the, 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 like, darkening when you get near the water. Does he have, like, trauma with water or something? Like, I, mean, I don't know. What's, what's left? Left is the spider web, right? I mean, I ha- apparently I can, like, cut through things. You're afraid of spiders, though. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, get me out of here. Hell, hell nah. Hell no, that make- that- that makes me- that gives me chills. Oh, okay, so I think we have a little bit of an answer here. It looks like when he's afraid of something, like, it, like, darkens the screen and stuff, because he's afraid of spiders, so it, oh, I feel like things are calling me, you know, I have arachnophobia, so that flipping creeps me out, dude. But it looks like um, the screen gets darker when he's scared of something, I guess. Like, Amori is scared of something, so, like, like, the spiders had the, like, pointy leg looking things like the ones on spiders and then the tentacles near the lake was like tentacles like because he's afraid of drowning maybe he can't swim so 
I don't know. I'm just making, trying to, I'm trying to make connections. Oh my gosh. There's more footprints. There's more footprints. I'm about to go up this long ass ladder. Remember what Mari said, Omori. You're stronger than you think. Don't worry. We'll be right behind you. Yeah. And if you, <laughs> and if you fall, we'll be right here to catch you. Kel, don't scare him. You won't fall, Omori. I promise. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, the connections I'm making. You are no longer afraid of heights. How'd you just make it disappear like that? I would get dizzy. Oh, you can just go right up the ladder. Oh my gosh, this is kind of trippy. Man, I know there's a reason why we, we've never climbed this ladder, but I can't put my finger on it. It's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, well. Here goes nothing. Ooh, I'm scared. What kind of trippy shit is this? Are we on drugs or something? It would be really bad. I mean, they're kids. But fucked up shit happens sometimes. Oh, wait, hold up, guys. Shoot. Where is he? I just had him. Where's who? Hector, my pet rock. Oh, no. Did you drop him? <laughs> Poor thing probably went splat. I swear, I just had him in my pocket. No! Hector! He must have fallen out of my pocket when I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry, Hector. I should have been more careful. What's the big deal? It's just a rock, right? Don't you dare say that. He's not just a rock. That's just a stupid boulder. It's not just a boulder. It's a rock. I'm going to insert that SpongeBob meme. He's family. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll turn up soon, Kel. Probably. I sure hope so. Wait for me, Hector. I'll find you. I promise. <laughs> okay space what the fuck is that no is that a snake with a space helmet on okay before we get into this i just wanted you to notice how the background of the last thing was like bed and and plants and and kind of like like what you would see in your bedroom not really space which is interesting what is this it looks like we're underground, not in space. The fossils? What is all of this? Did we just go through a whole planet? How are we breathing? First. How was Kel in front of us though? Poor hero. The ladder. It's just never ends. <laughs> That's one small step for Kel and one large step for Kel kind. They're on the moon. That's not how it goes. You don't get to decide how it goes. You weren't here first. Wait, hold on. Is that my butt certificate? Take that thing down right now. What if somebody sees it? No way. Look at this thing fluttering in the wind. It's majestic. So beautiful. Hero, do something. One sec. Poor Hero's too old for this. Just catching my breath. Actually... Give me a minute. Can you guys even breathe? The parrot has a space helmet. Never mind. I got an achievement. That's an achievement? I guess you could go up here without, like, getting it. Aubrey's butt certificate so majestic, so beautiful. Okay. Is there something behind here? Cheat. Okay. 
Otherworld Campsite Cattail Field. Let's go to Cattail Field first. Never mind. Let's go to the campsite first. There might be a save there. Um. Otherworld? Okay, so this is called Otherworld. Interesting. It's like a different dimension. I'm not going to question how how Mari got here, but how this even exists. I'm telling you, that whole... What the... That, that TV. You guys know the name Little Nightmares? That game? That TV reminds me of that game. If you know what I'm talking about, kudos to you. But yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. I can't get the TV out of my head now. Anyways, um, this is like a headspace. Seriously. Like... Oh my gosh, it really is another planet. Okay. Like, this is, there's no way this is real unless this game is just supernatural. But we saw a taste of what, like, reality looks like in this game. So, like, real, like, reality, like, for our reality. So, that just makes me think that this is a headspace. I mean, the map is literally called a headspace map. I mean, how cool would it be to make up your own world like this? That would be kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. The cars. Gumbo. Gumbo, happy. Okay. The alien. Zarf. So many humans today. You guys are all such big fans of space travel. A vending machine. Buy a tasty soda for 100 clams. No. That is so expensive. Wait. A transportation station. It doesn't seem to be in service. There was one down... In the vast forest, too. What the heck? And it becomes available. I wonder if we can teleport. Snug. It's at times like this that I am reminded that our universe is beautiful. Are you one or two beings? Mari. I have some lovely tube food. What? Welcome to Otherworld, an unofficial pit stop for wary space travelers and a popular family-friendly camping ground. Ah, oh, don't you guys just love the smell of firewood and the sound of running water and the crisp space breeze? It makes the vast emptiness of space feel a little more bearable, don't you think? Sure. Let's have a picnic. Yes. I'm sure she'll have to. How did she even get up here? I know there's going to be no answer for that. When I grow up, I'm going to be a space pirate, and I'm going to travel all around the universe. You sound like you're from Dragon Ball. <laughs> Not gonna lie, Kel. No, I wouldn't. I, I mean, Dragon Ball's cool. Our search for Basil has taken a, all of us pretty far from home. If traveling the universe is what you want, you definitely have a head start. I wonder what kind of friends we will meet. Where the heck did Basil go? Where did Basil go? How far could he have gone? I guess however far we can go. <laughs> I wonder what kind of friends we will meet. I probably already said that. <laughs> what foes we'll face. It'll be an epic journey to end all journeys. You're way too carefree about this, Kel. Did you forget that we're looking for Basil? Remember? Our dear friend Basil who needs us. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just trying to be positive. I have complete faith that we will save him. Besides, the heroes always win. In some stories, unfortunately, that's not the case. But in most stories, yeah, you're right. Isn't that right, hero? <laughs> Aw, haha, <laughs> very funny, Kel. This is adorable. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, I see you in there. We'll just buy one. This is ridiculously expensive though. Your friend smile warmly behind you. Okay, it's just the same thing except horse water. Sorry, same thing except it's here, horse water, okay. Where's the horse? Oh yeah, we're like in like a little farm land area, it looks like. What? Okay, there's a dinosaur. Gascon. Oh crap, I forgot my camera at home. 
What's a good camping trip if I can't take any pictures? Okay, what what is this? Oh, there's a Miss Ducky. Junior just doesn't know how to stay put. All he wants to do is go outside. Okay. Sorry to bother you, but have you seen my son anywhere? That's Mr. Ducky. We looked away for less than a second and he's gone and ran off again. Could you keep an eye out for me? You'll know when you see him. He looks just like me. Okay. So I have another quest. That's fine. An extra wide bed, perfect for a family of three. Okay. This really be reminding me of Little Nightmares. The TVs, that's it. This game doesn't remind me of Little Nightmares, just the TVs, okay? Should I play Little Nightmares? Let me know what you think. <laughs> I'm down to play it. It's a good game. It's very disturbing though. A happy family. Okay. A bookcase filled with DVDs. This family records everything. What? This guy looks pretty intimidating. Do you want to disturb him? Sure. Oh! Hey, that's the guy on the on the poster that's wanted. Uh oh. This may have been a bad idea. Fight. Right arm. Is this a boss? Ooh, how do we even do? This is like a freaking boss fight, dude. Can I even do this right now? Oh my gosh, no, don't kill. Do not kill me. Oh my god. Dude. How good are we? Oh, the right arm's almost dead. Gahahaha. <laughs> what a splendid show of force. He expands. Hero's dead! That's our hero! Our healer! No! He expands. Oh my gosh. No, Aubrey's dead. I mean, sorry, Aubrey's toast. Oh, he's happy. Cal's toast. No! How much does he have left? Oh, he's on very low health. Just attack. We got him! That was... Oh my gosh! 450? There... Well. At least I got some good gain out of that. Hmm. Not bad. I got an achievement. What the? Where did he go? I think he was the guy on the wanted paper though. I'm pretty sure. Okay, well I'm gonna go and do this. Yes, yeah, some lovely tube food and heal up. That was interesting. I think that was important though. Let's continue our adventure. Uh, is this a, is this a house? Okay. Can I? Small. I'm small. The world's smallest centaur. Look at all of my awards. Small. Idiest bittiest centaur, first place. Littlest centaur, first place. Oh my gosh. I bet it smells like a farm. Most, ho most horse, second place. Mini a centaur first place. Tiny a centaur first place. Little a centaur first place. A bookcase, it's a little dusty. Uh oh. Here we go with the sneezing. Okay. I believe you. <laughs> What's over here? Otherworld Lake and Otherworld Campsite. 
junkyard. Um, I, I should probably just explore what the other place was first before moving on. So let's go full out on this. Oh my God. Isn't that the pillow girl that was in the room that we wake up in? Not white space, but the one we, can we not talk to you? I'm pressing the wrong button, guys. Morgan, that recycling machine just gave me a cool prize. Recycling some cans. Recycling does pay off. I was pressing the wrong button, so give me a second. Ferris, this place used to be a pristine wildlife preserve, but due to a recent boom in tourism, it's starting to accumulate a lot of trash. Pick up your trash, people. It's not that hard. You said it. He said, what the heck? Why are, you, why are you running around? Pessy. Hi, I'm Pessy. And as you probably noticed, I love Sweetheart. What's Sweetheart? Who's... I got every piece of merchandise she's ever released. Okay, so Sweetheart is some kind of celebrity? I think. I got Sweetheart posters, figures, stickers, shirts, her entire discog discography, and anything else you can think of. I am certain you won't find a more thorough collection anywhere else in the world. Calling me a super fan is an understatement. I am the ultimate fan. Good God. So I just recently watched an anime, a really popular anime that's going around right now, really recent, called Oshinoko. And it reminds, <laughs> that vibe, it's the same vibe, you know? Like that anime is about a pop idol or pop idols and, and, it's kind of hard to explain. Just go watch it if you want to. Yeah, it's really creepy. That's that's how some people are towards, you know, even like, like celebrities, YouTubers, or famous content creators, and just all kinds of things, which is really creepy to me. Like, that's weird. I'm sorry. That's really weird. Uh, let me tell you about the time I almost met Sweetheart. Oh my you know, I could be obsessive too, but just not over a real person. You know, like a real person, that's a real person. But if it's like a fictional character, it's not as bad depending on how far you're going. I'm just gonna stop this conversation, okay? We just happened to be eating at the same restaurant. It was fate, I think. We ordered the same meal too. Not like I totally saw what she ordered and copied her or anything. I even tried to pay for her meal, but I had just bought a newly released sweetheart life-size statue the day earlier and couldn't afford to, which I guess ended up being a good thing since that girl turned out to be some regular girl wearing a costume that kind of looked like sweethearts anyway. Not like I couldn't tell in the first place. Only a poser fan would ever mistake a regular person for sweetheart. Dear God. A bookcase full of books about an obnoxious looking person. Okay. TVs are all weird. A painting of an obnoxious looking person. A very obnoxious sounding song is playing from the boom box. A statue made in the likeness of an obnoxious person. Okay, you obviously think, surprisingly normal bed. You obviously think Sweetheart is obnoxious apparently. A table full of merchandise of an obnoxious looking person. Well, I'm out of here. Okay, what is that? You got a can. Oh, it was a can? A recycling machine. Would you like to recycle a can? You put a can in the recycling machine. Oh my god! Recy the recycling sh machine dispensed five clams. Thanks for doing your part in keeping the environment clean. Well, thanks. You're welcome. I like the jam. I like the recycling machine jam. Yes. That was like my favorite music. Oh my gosh. Nice. What the? What is that? Laramie? Laramie? A band of space pirates has been camping out here for a long time now. I hear that the captain suddenly decided he wasn't going to travel anymore, so half of the crew took his ship and left. Damn. Space pirates gives me major Dragon Ball vibes, guys. <laughs> okay, I'll talk about that guy in a second. Space, pir 
Space Pirate Chief. Squawk, things have been so boring around here ever since Cap Space, I mean, Space Boyfriend took charge of the Space Pirates. I mean, look at what Space Boyfriend's done with the old Captain Ship. Pink Beard would never approve of this. Captain Pink Beard. Uh, okay. What, where's the ship? Is that the ship? The moon thing? Space Boyfriend. <laughs> Trouble. Ah, the view here is spectacular. Okay. Okay, what is this? Space pirate guy. Halt, children! You are now entering the vicinity of the captain of the space pirates, the master of the solar system, prince of the universe. Gosh, Major Dragon Ball vibes. The one and only Captain Space... P I mean... Er, you are entering the house of space boyfriend. Space, was it space boy before, not space boyfriend? Why? Whoa, the captain of the space pirates lives here? That's awesome. I want to be a space pirate too. Yeah, well, so did I once. Space boyfriend doesn't do much these days. So most of the space pirates got fed up and left with the main ship. It's just us stragglers here doing all the space boyfriends, chores, or whatever. Yesterday, me and the guy spent all day cleaning and throwing away all of his trash. Sounds like a shitty dude, and why did the name change? <sighs> I didn't leave my old job for this. I ain't no babysitter. Oh, I'm sorry, that sounds awful. Maybe we can talk some sense into him. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Captain Space Bo I mean... Space boyfriend's got two sides of him, you see. Has he got a split personality? We should at least try. You never know. He might know something about how to find Basil. Or maybe he knows where to find my pet rock, Hector. <laughs> oh my gosh, Kel. Yeah, sh sure. That too. Hero. <laughs> oh, man. What are you waiting for? Let's go see him already. Sorry about your job, sir. It'll get better soon, I promise. Hmm, thank you, little lady. I sure hope so. Yeah, there is a lot of boxes I did notice. Oh my gosh, they all look the same. Space pirate buddy, buddy. It sucks that you had to come at a time like this. Space pirate pal. Things are a little tough now, but I don't care what anyone says, pal. I believe in the captain. Captain Space but I mean, Space Boyfriend hasn't left his bed since she stopped coming around. Who's the he Who the hell is she? Is he depressed? Space Boyfriend, what can we do for you, bro? Why won't you leave your bed? Depression? Okay. Oh my gosh. Space Pirate Mate. All I hear lately are the rest of the crew complaining about being bored. I am the only one who kind of enjoys cleaning around here. Am I the only one? Sorry. He, amigo. <laughs> Space pirate amigo. Uh, he's sleeping, it seems. Cardboard boxes are littered across the house. That's familiar. It's very oddly familiar. Hmm. So I see space boy or a boyfriend oh. okay <laughs> a vanity he has a vanity a bookcase full of knowledge from all across the universe Okay, Voltron or Dragon Ball, which one are we here? A telescope. A boombox, there's no cassette tape inside. Uh-oh. Captain Space, I mean, Space Boyfriend doesn't look so good. Don't worry, I'll handle this. Hey, Space Boyfriend, wake up! Kel! What? He is coughing. Ugh. Okay. Is he sick? 
my precious sweetheart. Oh, he sounds so sad. There must be some way to help him. Cough, cough, cough. Oh, my sweetheart. Where have you run off to now? Okay, it sounds like he had a girlfriend or something. I mean, that would make sense. Space boyfriend. Space girlfriend. Maybe his girlfriend ran off or something. That would be fucked up. Oh, no. Not again. Space boyfriend's feeling the heavy blues. Here, my guy. This will cheer you right up. Huh? Why isn't anything playing? Oh no, the boom box. It's empty. He's never gonna wake up now, or even worse, he's gonna wake up angry. What does that mean? Oh man, oh man. Where could that special mixtape be? Someone must have thrown away his special mixtape when we were cleaning. What's the big deal? It's just a cassette, right? Well, you see, whenever a space boyfriend is away from sweetheart, he gets really sad and he lies in bed all day. Away from sweetheart. That must be... Wait, wasn't sweetheart the girl that that girl was a fanatic about? Like, a, the ultimate fan? Wasn't it? Wasn't her name sweetheart? The only way to snap him out of it is by playing his special, mix, special mixtape. Also, like, being completely obsessed over your partner like that is not okay at all. Don't do that. I don't recommend that, guys. You should also be your own individual person. There's only one in the universe like it. Oh, I see. Space Boyfriend isn't sick. He's lovesick. If Space Boyfriend stays like this, the once great coalition of space pirates would be lost for eternity. Oh. Man, that sucks. Well, let's go. Wait, where are you going? We should help him out. You should know that it really sucks to lose something important to you. Don't you dare bring up Hector into this. I'm talking about when you stole my stuffed toy. Huh? I don't remember anything like that. I do. Oh, he's coughing again. Oh, sweetheart. My perfect goddess. Oh my god, this man is a simp. Cough. My sweet jelly-filled donut. <laughs> I think he's getting worse. What should we do, Amori? Should we help him? Yeah. Thanks, my guys. I really appreciate it. Here, take this. You got a junkyard key. This key unlocks the junkyard. This special mixtape should be somewhere in there. You can get there through the secret entrance to Space Boyfriend's backyard. Pretty convenient, eh? Okay, interesting. We continue playing music. Wait, isn't that something that we've heard already? But it's interesting he knows how to play. All right, let's see here. What's back here? Oh my goodness. We've really done it now, dude. Space pirate dude. Two space pirate dudes. I hope the captain won't be too mad when we tell him his favorite planet is missing. Wasn't that the guy we fought? You know how he gets when he's angry. Buddy, you're not supposed to call him Captain anymore. Oh, so it's Space Pirate Buddy and Space Pirate Dude. You have to call him Space Boyfriend, remember? Oh yeah, that's right. You know, dude, sometimes I wonder if we're even Space Pirates anymore. Ever since that sweetheart came along, we haven't done anything cool. We should just quit and get real jobs. Or get laid. Because that's probably why he's acting like that. <laughs> I'm kidding. Kidding. 
Don't talk nonsense, buddy. What is life for us if not the space pirate life? I'm sure the captain will come to his senses one day and we'll all fly again. We just have to believe in him. Thanks, dude. You're always here when I need you. Where did that guy we fought go? Oh my goodness. Whoa! It's an enemy. It's a junkyard. Let, let us do it. Let us. Let us do it. Oh gosh. Okay, hopefully this enemy... More and more friends do What the heck? It's a worm in a hole. Wormhole? Wormhole! <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, when I do show battles, I will only show like boss battles or important battles. Or like, I won't cut those out because those are kind of important. Right? What the heck is that? I don't want to know. What is this? You got backpack. Maestro? Maestro? My good men, I am looking for some art. Fear not, for I will know when I have found it. Okay. Junkyard. Oh, okay. But what's this way? Was it just, was his backyard just a shortcut? Snaily, lovely weather, isn't it? Okay, yeah, it's like up here. It was like a shortcut, I think. Use the junkyard key. We're in. Oh, junkyard. It's a whole, it's a whole thing. We're gonna be in a junkyard for a while. Go, let's go over here first since there's a watermelon over here. You got a granola bar. Okay. Oh, you see the top right corner? There's like keys or whatever. Is this like a puzzle? Oh my gosh. Oh wait. So this is the junkyard. Time to start digging. What are we looking for again? Space Boyfriend's special mixtape. Righto. Um, hey look, I found a can. You got a can. Put it in the recycling machine and hear those tunes again. <sighs> I guess that's a start. <laughs> I guess that's a start, yeah, for real. How long is this gonna take? I love the music, by the way. It's really cool. You got a glass bottle. <laughs> Sorry, I was just jamming for a second. Is that the cassette right there? Kel is digging through trash. Kel didn't find anything. There's a mixtape, but is it the special mixtape? I mean, yeah, I'm assuming that wasn't it, though. You got cardboard. Cool. There's a watermelon up here. You got air... I can't speak. You got air horn. That boombox looks really angry. Oh man, it looks like there's a big block of junk in the way. You might even call it a roadblock. Get it? Not to worry, everyone. This big old block ain't nothing compared to my swing. Hey, I'm worried. You know you can cut roots and traffic cones? Well, you're not the only one who has a special ability around here. I, for one, can smash large blocks out of my way. Kel and Hiro have their own special abilities, too. Yeah, this is not reality. <laughs> this is supernatural. Although I'm not so sure about Kel. I'll get rid of this hunk of junk easy peasy. Wait, what does Hero do? I didn't catch what he does. It's okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'll make you the leader. Aww. You tie- <gasps> What? Oh, wow. Aw, you can make people the leader? That's so cute. Well, your ability is helpful, Aubrey, I must admit. Is that a computer? You got flower puzzle! We got the flower puzzle! Yay! That's cool. Okay, what is this? Hey, Mr. Conveyor Bot. Switch up those conveyor belts for us already. Bzz. <laughs> Rude person. You can't just yell orders at people, Kel. Jeez, have some tact, will you? It's not a person. But, you know. 
Now, now, there's no need to fuss. I'll handle this one. Tag me, Omori. Okay. Girl. Omori's home. His charm. He's so cute. <clears throat> Greetings, Sir Conveyor Bot. My companions and I require your assistance in changing the directions of your conveyors. Will you and your friends please help us? Bzz. Ah. Hmm. Nice person. Okay. Aww. Oh, wait. Okay. Cool. Oh. What the? Wait, no, no, no. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. What's this? You got a comet hammer. Glasses ghost looks around aimlessly as if it's lost. Okay. Alright. Be careful. You got ramen. From a toilet? Here's a bench. A vending machine. Tasty soda for a hundred. Oh, I have a decent amount now. Sure. A cold tasty soda popped out from the vending machine. What does the tasty soda do? Oh, okay. The question marks disappeared. Now it's tag. Okay, got it. And then what is this? Uh. Is that the Kool-Aid man? <laughs> life jam guy. Hey kids, I'm the life jam guy. I sell life jam. It really works. Would you like a free demo? Yeah, sure. Oh, wait, what? Demo. Why are we attacking the live jam guy? What kind of OP shit is that? Use the live jam, it really works. You got life jam. You got life jam. You got life jam. Life jam, <laughs> life jam guy explains the benefits of life jam. I mean, he gave us life jam, but he also killed us. Enjoy your free samples. Goodbye now. You just, like, killed us. How do you like my free demo? Haha, <laughs> I'm kidding. I know you loved it. Oh, I see. You're still hurt. No worries. I'll heal you up. I was about to say, that is so... That's such a rip-off. That would have been so stupid. Very good, yes. Now, would you like to buy some life jam? It will only cost 250 clams. No. No, I... I accidentally bought it. Live jam, it really works. There goes half of my pocket. Oh, the, the key, we got the key. Junkyard key. All right, let's unlock. Let's use the junkyard key. What is in there? It's not a boss. What the? What? A photo of someone familiar. Why does it look like a shrine? You know, you know those, I mean, some people like put up photos, especially I think in, I don't know if it's like Asian cultures in particular or like, if I, I think a lot of different cultures do this, but they put up a photo of someone who's passed or maybe a pet that has passed or whatever and they put candles beside it as like a kind of a memorial thing. I know at least where I live, like, I, it, we don't do that a lot. Like, we, we have pictures up and everything, but we don't, like, do that in, per, in particular or specifically. You know what I mean, right? Okay? But, yeah, that's weird. And we're in a little tunnel again. Oh, wait. Oh, we can't pick it up. Oh, my gosh! Look, it's Mari. Ah, oh, yes, a perfectly roasted chicken. Would you like to eat some? I'm not going to question how it got there. You and your friends feel like new. Yay. Let's see. Oh, it's Hero. Oh, That's cute. You got a can. What does Mari want to say? Hey, everyone. I hope you're all enjoying yourselves. I cleared out the junk here and found a perfectly good roasted chicken. See, Amori cleaning has its benefits. 
A roasted chicken in a junkyard? Yep, I need to set an example for my sometimes messy little brother. Aw. Okay. Do you want to have a picnic with your friends? Yeah. Is there an event? There is. Ugh. This place is so gross and stinky. My nose can't take it anymore. What's the rush, Aubrey? There's so much treasure around. I'm going to swipe as many cans as I can find. Oh, and afterwards, we should recycle them at the recycling machine. I'm sure we passed by one on the way to Captain Space... I mean, Space Boyfriend's place. We did, and it had a good tune. Urgh. Forgot cans. We gotta find the special mixtape and get out of here. Forgot cans. I mean, forget cans, sorry. Aw, uh, hang in there, Aubrey. You'll get past this. If anything, just think about all the good recycling we'll do for the environment. Yeah, come on, Aubrey. Do it for the environment. Let's do it for the environment. Oh, it's another mixtape. Mixtape slaps. I just can't, I can't imagine how that is. Just like, <laughs> Let's go up here. we got a glass bottle. What's in here? Oh, it's more stuff. Gator guy. Heh <laughs> Over. What? Gator guy. I am not. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Okay. Okay, being hero doesn't change anything, so. That is so cute. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. That is so unbelievably cute. What is this? What the? Ow, what the? What gives? <sighs> well, what do you know? There's a weak point on its head. I can recognize it. one of those anywhere. Let's try throwing something at it. I'm sure that'll work. A platform there looks like a good place to throw from. Tag me. I got this. Okay, Cal. I'll tag you. Oh my gosh, the pictures so they're so cute. Uh, oh, it just disappeared. Okay, it exploded. Cal, you were so cute. Everybody's so cute. Oh, okay, we gotta be on Mori again. Oh my god, that's so cute. We got a rubber band. Bubba band. There wasn't an enemy here. What the heck is that thing? Oh my goodness, there's so much to explore. <gasps> there's a key up here. Do I get it? I mean, I had to go out of my way to do it. Since we don't know much yet, I think we should go ahead and get it. However, I'm a little hesitant because the first two were very obvious obvious, and we had to get them. So it makes sense that it was something that actually worked because if it didn't, that would be stupid, right? So is it only the obvious keys or... I mean, we don't really know much yet. So I guess we can take, we can take a hit, right? Maybe, I don't know. I don't know if the D, I mean, like there's a bunch of letters still missing, so. I think I don't want to travel all the way back up here if I have to get a D, so. I'm gonna tag Aubrey. We're gonna move this. That is oh, the eggplant mesh. Oh wait. That's weird. So it's like blurry now. Oh wait. Wait. Only Amori can see the key. Or get it, I guess, I don't know. It didn't say about anything about the keys. Oh, D wasn't on there. So that means it wasn't one of them. Damn, okay. So it's weird how the other ones were obvious but worked, but this one was not obvious and it didn't work. I feel like you just have to take risks though, you know? Well, that was interesting. 
What is that? Uh, it's no good. I can't even dent this thing. Is that cheese? Or something? Hold on a sec. This is cheese, isn't it? Oh, you're right. It is cheese. <laughs> okay, guys. Hear me out. This might sound crazy, but what if we eat the cheese? Hope none of y'all are lactose intolerant. If we start now, we can probably finish this in a couple of hours or so. Oh! This is just a warning, though. Cheese gets me kind of gassy. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Ew, Kel. Hold up, Kel. There's no need for that. I think I may have a perfect solution. Tag me, Omori. I just know how to handle this. I know just how to handle this. My goodness, I get my words mixed up. Oh. Ew. <laughs> Damn it. I pressed the wrong button. Aw, the way she held on. That's so cute. What is he going to do? Am I tripping balls? Ems. Hello, friends. It's me, Ems. The humble, hungry hamster. Oh, wow. Is this all for me? What a treat. How did you know that cheese is my favorite? Oh, I wonder. It's got a little bow. What the heck, hero? I don't have to guess, Ems. Everything is your favorite. Everyone, this is Emily, the hamster, but I just call her Ems. She's a good friend of mine. You know what to do, Ems. I sure do. Be done in a jiffy. This is so random. I am tripping or, or some shit. What? I'm playing this at one in the morning. Whoa, how does that all even fit in her body? Beats me, I try not to think about it. That was pretty incredibly satisfying. If you are ever in need of any giant cheese eating services again, you know who to call. Why was there just a giant piece of cheese? I guess I could ask a lot of questions about this, but you know. Goodbye, friends. Oh my god, I am tripping, dude. The okay, that was weird. That wasn't anybody in our party talking. The heck was that? I saw that sprout mole. See, look. Hmm, how are we supposed to find anything in here? There's just way too much junk. Wait, were we looking for something? Oh ho ho! At long last, I finally found it. After countless hours of digging and digging, this one of a kind, ultra exclusive, special mixtape finally belongs to me. No, it doesn't. Rosa! The number one sweetheart fan in the world. Oh, God. A sprout mole now? With this one-of-a-kind addition to my collection, I will finally surpass all those lame posers out there. Wait. Oh, no. This special mixtape. It smells like doo-doo. I wonder why. Oh, no. I smell like doo-doo. Yeah, no shit. You're in a junkyard. Hold on. Did she say she found a special mixtape? That's what we've been looking for. Oh, yeah. Let's go get it. I can hear everything you're saying, you know. Just as I suspected, owning something so valuable is already getting me into trouble. Oh ho ho! What's the matter? Are you jealous? This special mixtape is mine. I'll never give it to you. Not now, not ever. Are you sure about that? Hey, we didn't come all the way here for nothing. If you don't give us that special mixtape, we'll have to take it by force. Eww, it's a savage behavior. Violence never solved anything, you know. I'm too refined for this nonsense. Farewell, peons, and see you never. Okay. Wait, come back here. Hurry, Amori, after her. We can't, uh, I don't know what she said. Come here, you little turd. You'll never catch me, stick legs. Shut up. And it's not Amori chasing her. Oh, wait. Okay. God, I can't. Sorry, I just had to stop and, you know, do some stuff. Oh, she's down there. You know you're cornering yourself, right? Are you serious? It's not fair she can jump over things. Okay, no. I'll get her in a damn second. We got rain cloud. We got ramen out of the toilet. Seriously. We got TV remote. What the heck? Wait, there's Mari. Why is Mari here? Okay. 
Probably. <laughs> yeah, Hero's definitely older than all of them. Hold on, we gotta save with Mari first. I think we're about to fight a boss-ish, I think. You got a computer part. Ah oh, yes, perfectly roasted chicken, yes. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, what will happen? Will we find the sprout mole that took the mixtape? Or will it be gone forever? You will never know until you watch the next episode. So guys, that will be it for this episode. I've been recording for a really long time. Anyways, I hope you're all having a wonderful night, a wonderful day whenever you're watching this. Um, I hope you are also enjoying this series just as much as I am. Please let me know what you think about this series in the comments and leave a like if you're enjoying it as well. And yeah, also let me know if you have any other game suggestions that I might play after I finish this game. I know I'm going to play the Zelda game. Um, don't know when I'm, I'm, obviously that doesn't come out until a little bit later this month, but yeah. Or I don't know when I'm posting this, but it comes out May 12th. But yeah, anyways, I will see you guys later and thank you for watching. Bye.